Okay, I would like to address the first issue that was brought up in regards to that the states had, or the, the point, uh, said, said the states had to raise to 21 by the 1890s, and that was in support of saying that it was because of the highway incidents. But I would like to uh, remind you that if states had not, they would have had their highway funds withdrawn for them, according to a project of the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism, for example. Federal law requires that a portion of federal highway funding be withheld from any state that allows the purchase or public possession of alcoholic beverages by persons under the age of 21 years. And in support of that, history of the 21 minimum legislative analysis of the national, had states not changed their drinking laws, they had the possibility of losing up to eight to 99 million dollars. Uh, the state that tried to challenge, or there was a case that had arisen because of this. Uh, court case, South Dakota versus Dole, number 86-260. South Dakota, which permits persons 19 years old or older to purchase beer containing up to 3.2% alcohol, sued in federal district court for a declaratory judgment that section 158, which is the MODA 21, violates the constitutional limitations on congressional exercise of the spending power, article 1, section 8, clause 1 of the Constitution, and violates the 21st Amendment. The district court rejected the state's claims and the Court of Appeals affirmed. This case was uh, basically in summary saying that this act had violated the 21st Amendment when the 21st Amendment and reminder was to appeal the 18th Amendment of Prohibition. This was uh, made before that date when she said that all states had to raise. Um, according to Donald R. Eastman, the third Edward College, the 21-year-old 20, drinking age is hypocritical and effective, guilt-inducing guilt and counterproductive. It is a form of mini prohibition and needs to be replaced with education and focus on the value of moderation, not intolerance. This was made in 2008. Uh, going on to another point the opponent had made in, uh, in regards to the military, there was a bill that was attempting to have it legalized. If you were in the, serving in the military, then you would be able to drink. This did not pass. However, uh, Leo Shane III, borough reporter, he was uh, researching it and said, Wisconsin State Rep. Mark Peters R. Hurdle introduced a bill to drop the $500 fine for underage drinking or just $10 for service members. Uh, this is where, in this case, the Wisconsin House Committee it was approved 7 to 2, but when it made its way upwards, it got denied and went back down. Um, however, uh, continuing in the same article, Defense Department rules require that all U.S. military facilities follow the 21 drinking age. But overseas bases can drop their drinking age as low as 18 based on their host country's laws. Base commanders also can set the limit at 21 regardless of the foreign laws at their discretion. So that was all I would like to address in a rebuttal. Um, I would like to go back to the first point, uh, reminding that the 18 is the age of adulthood on the United States. So naturally it would be um, in comparison to Europe. Uh, their adult age is 16, so they were able to lower to 16. Um, Sorry, I'm rushing. Moving on to point two, though, M uh, point three, MLD 21 is largely ineffective because teens consume alcohol regardless. This was also made point earlier that uh, you are able to, California law says that you're able to drink in private as long as alcohol as those of any age below 21 have alcohol in private locations except in vehicles. Any drink of a parent, guardian, spouse, or other responsible relative age 21 or older is present. That quote was from a uh, California pamphlet on alcohol drinking. Um, it's ineffective because teams are still consuming alcohol, even if they had recognized it. Uh, college students want to commit legal actions and alcoholism. Um, the reason why they want, in college, the kids wanted to have it lowered is so that it would be legalized. Uh, students who already drink, including those who drink dangerously, want to be able to do so legally. So as we were mentioning in our proposal, if the MLDA 21 was lowered down to 18, that it would be in safe public areas, including the university campuses, where they can be educated on how much to drink and what is allowed, so that they learn. Um, that is all I would like to make at this point. <laughs>